Hello, beautiful, wonderful people. My name is Bonnie Northgraves, and this is another episode of Story Time. Today, I'm going to be talking about a tune from 1925, written by Irving Berlin. This is the beautiful song, Always. So, let's jump into it. Bum, ba, 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 piano came. All right, I'm gonna play this in the key of C because that's the key I like to sing it in. was written for Irving Berlin's wife. So he wrote this in 1925 and he married his wife in 1926 and he wrote the song for her as her wedding gift. Now um, one of the cool things about this was that he didn't just write the song for her, he also gifted her all of the royalties and future royalties from the song. So she earned her income or earned an income from the royalties of the song every time it was recorded. So it's pretty cool. It's a very nice gift to ask me. Very romantic. Alrighty, so moving on from that, some very cool recordings of this. The very first one was done in 1926 on February 10th. And this is by Henry Barr um, for Victor Records. Um, Frank Sinatra rec records this in 1947. It's a beautiful recording. Uh, Bing, Rec Bing, Rec Cosby. Bing Crosby <laughs> records this twice um, and only three years apart, once in 1962 and then once in 1965. And the one for from 1965 is um, an album that is full of his favorite songs. So that's what he did with that. Uh, Patsy Klein recorded this in 1963. Peggy Lee recorded this in 1974. And Diana Ross and the Supremes did a tribute to Irving Berlin and recorded this live on the Ed Sullivan Show. So that's kind of a cool thing. So on that note, I'm going to sing it out. Not like Diana Ross, like Bonnie. Okay. <laughs> Be loving you always with a love that's true. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Bonnie, and I'll see you next time. Bye!